Guys, it's Trevor here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to review a software, a uh, SaaS software called InStory. Now, this software is on pitchground.com. I have a link in the description if you want to check this out. Um, so, what this software is, is basically like a plagiarized checker, um, an AI co content writing tool. And it looks, you see on my screen, it kind of looks like um, Grammarly Premium. Um, you know, if you use Grammarly before, it kind of looks like the format, um, you know, th this this part at least, uh, how much plagiarism, um, the headline, the emotion, and all that. So, so far, on the plans, you have, uh, I believe, four plans. So, for $49 a lifetime, you can get one user, all features, and this is non-stackable. Um, so, if you're just using it for yourself, $49 is perfectly fine. Um, but the other plans that are upgraded are basically just adding on more users. So if you need more people, let's say you have a VA, um, you have a friend, or you have other people that are part of your business, then you probably want to get a higher plan. Like plan B has four users, plan C 10 users, and plan D 20 users. So if you want to check out the sales page then on uh, PitchGround, definitely um, I'll have a link in the description to check it out on PitchGround.com. So inside in story, I literally just signed up. Um, I have it pulled up right here, and what it says is it says welcome your name. Um, it's it's gonna emotionally target your customers, boost your customer engagement, and it's gonna actually enhance your creativity and save time. So um, let's see. We're basically I'm not gonna actually write a new document. I'm just gonna literally upload a document, supported documents, a TXT file. Okay, let's actually do a new document. Um, so it brings up this little um, window or like a different page. And right here you can add the title. So we're just going to do um, Jarvis.ai review. Okay, so that did the job. It did not copy and paste the images, which is good. And then inside here, inside AI analysis, it has the headline analysis. It says the sentence is too long. Your headline is slightly long, consider moving a few words completely. Power words for your content. So your headline is... Is it talking about this headline? Um, because that's the only headline. So if we edit this, does it change? Nope, it does not. So impact score 44%, supercharged headline, generate now. I don't even know where it placed a template or the headline, sorry. Is it related to this headline? Jarvis.ai review. Let's go ahead and make this H2. Okay, so now it decides to read from this headline. Maybe there's a glitch when pasting in the content. Try that headline. Still says short. Okay, it says good now. So, inside headline uh, analysis, inside the AI analysis panel, um, you can see that it says the length is good. It has 5 to 15 words. Um, numbers and stats do um, increase your click through rate. And then power words, awesome supercharge. Try using power words to boost your impact score. So, let's do. Um, let's see. Supercharge your copy writing. So that should update in a second. Okay, so the headline is at 80.5. The length is between 5 and 15 words. 1, 2, 3, 4, it's 5 words. see that changes it takes a bit to update so that that score actually just went down if I just completed that statistics and numbers so how are we gonna fit st stats in this or number supercharge your copy and writing today uh, it's probably also looking at this this headline right here so there's one alert for headline. Spend a lot of time on the headline. So 
let's see what's next panel analysis to create a new panel get opinions from the people you choose as panel members improve your text with individual perspective so panel analysis is basically you can add um, another person and they'll check your copy so you can create the panel start by adding a title and then the purchase intent shareability value proposition your question and then you can continue from there um, so this is more manual control I want to see that what the AI, AI does so let's see inside plagiarism if we click on that looks like it's loading okay so let's see in to uh, tonnel so we have 40% positive 13% negative and 47% neutral so when we click on these words it will find it inside of the copy that we pasted um, perfect AI suggestions so do we want all the So do we want the tonality to be positive or negative or neutral? So let's say we, if we want this to be super positive, like we're writing a review, we can change the words up really quickly. So good, good into simple, we can do simple. And slowly but maturely, we can basically take this content and make it a lot more positive for ton for the tonality so let's say the content is um, roasting or s talking trash about something then you probably want to choose negative but if you want to stay neutral then you probably want to click on neutral and it'll give you a tonality tonnel analysis based on the content that you put um, over to the left so you can go through this you can actually reset the word as well learn more is basically it's going to take the um, adjective and it puts it as an example so much let's see that much better team members from acquisitions typically stick around in st a strategic role making Jarvis that these AI Okay, those aren't good words to replace it with. So, gotta make sure. View all. We can view the negative words now. So, tedious, we can change it to something like where is tedious highlighted? Click on tedious. Okay, so tedious right here. If we click on different, it changes this, but that time it didn't highlight it which is a bit weird okay so inside of tonnel that is basically it you have all the different tonnels positive negative neutral however want however um, you want your content to be so click one and then change the words um, you can make it the AI suggestions are decent just make sure to reread and see if it makes sense let's see inside emotion so emotion analysis um, you can see that it's mainly joy 85% um, is there a way to see all okay there's no way to see all but we can see it's mainly this content is mainly joy you have anger um, just as 4% so template where is this word at Hmm. Template indirectly contri contributes to anger in the sentence. Let's do feedback. So it didn't change all of it, which is interesting. Hmm. Fear nothing fear nothing sadness it's a bit weird okay joy you can change the content generate content content 
No, that's not what you want. Generate. Okay, now this something messed up. So automatically generate content. Just so the suggestions aren't that good. Right? I'm not gonna lie, this it's not giving me something well, first of all, it's gonna be pretty hard to think of something um, to replace automatically with, but the AI isn't doing that good of a job to replace the content. Um, let's see in correction of what it does. So grammar check. Okay, so this is basically grammarly. Um, long form. Okay, that's basically what grammarly see uh, does. You can see I highlighted the content inside of um, in story, and my grammarly um, plugin popped up, and you can see. Um, it decides to use this or this and, and um, in storage showed up as this so Grammarly shows two options in storage shows one so you can do whatever you want from here so it changes it to long form its own its own change it to its refer back AI can then refer back to its training when generating contact refer refer something that is flawless templates so I didn't read most of those but that should improve what the AI is gonna say so templates so once we improve this inside motions Joy, Tonnel, same. Plagiarism, let's see. 10 alerts, Plage 1. Okay, so I did find the content, which is good. Plagiarism is working. Line 4 is basically going to be the same blog. So that is good. Headline. Okay, so overall, it is missing a few features. Um, just isn't complete tonnel you know you can obviously you can change the different words up and replace it but the ai isn't that um, well built because the words that it decides to replace doesn't make sense most of the time inside emotion sometimes also it doesn't highlight words um it may, the main problem is that the words that it replaces doesn't make sense um let's see what else does it have just this and this add story you can add a new document um, inside settings, I already went down to it's basically billing and information like that. Um, help. Down here, we have word count. And the basic things. So overall, in story, I don't think it's a good pickup. Honestly, I feel it's like unpolished. Um, unless they have something up in their roadmap, we can look it up real quick. So overall, I don't think this is a good pickup, even though... It is basically like Grammarly. It doesn't. It's nowhere as good as Grammarly. First of all, the AI isn't well built, and there's a lot of issues with um, finding the text that you click on. Um, so overall, I don't think this is a good pickup. Um, inside of the pitch ground, if you do want to pick this up, the main reason, personally, um, if you want to pick this up is going to be probably just the plagiarism checker but then again um for 49 dollars lifetime do you just want to use this software as a plagiarism checker um when it's maybe probably not the best um the corrections aren't good the tonnel you know it's it's just not good okay um that's pretty much my thoughts on in story if you have any other um questions or anything maybe i'm missing some information um seems like a lot more than i went through Placer checker panel testing yeah this this is pretty much it emotionally target customers i was a little bit more hyped for this but apparently it's just not that good so if, so that wraps it up guys i'm just i know i'm just repeating myself at this point so if you enjoyed this make sure you smash that like button and until next time take care